Whether you're a fan of Warhammer 40k, Age of Sigma, Middle Earth or something in between, Games Workshop has always released starter box sets to encourage new and old players of the game. I haven't done a box set review video on this channel before so this is going to be the first. This box has been sat in my pile of shame ever since the release and I've been so eager to crack it open to start working on it. Within the last 12 months we've had so many new sets from Games Workshop including 40k 10th edition, Necromunda and the Horus Heresy Age of Darkness. It can be difficult to know where to start with all of these. In this video I'm going to talk you through why I think this box is the best thing the Middle Earth strategy battle game community has seen for a very long time. By now you've probably guessed, yes, I mean the Battle of Osgiliath. Packed with incredible miniatures and terrain, this set offers an immersive experience that brings the epic battles of the Lord of the Rings to life. Retailing at £125 in the UK, it's a treasure trove for any fan of Middle Earth SBG. It is Sunday afternoon and I've got about four and a half hours to try and unpack this box, build some minis and then showcase them to you. The challenge is on, let's see if we can do it. Ever since this box set has been released I couldn't wait to open it and start building the minis and I'm finally able to share this video with you. So start the clock, the countdown is on, let's see if we can get this done. Before the dreaded armies of Mordor can lay siege to Minas Tirith, they must first take and hold the port city of Asgiliath, allowing them to move massive amounts of supplies and legions of warriors. While the steward of Gondor remains on his throne in relative comfort, he sends his second son Faramir and many Gondor's most trusted warriors to defend Asgiliath against all odds. Will they hold the line or will the never ending forces of evil overwhelm them? Now I've always wanted to build a diorama for Osgiliath, even more so a 4x4 gaming table. This is the first step towards that dream. This box features 54 models, 2 balanced armies, one good one evil including new hero miniatures for Faramir, Madril, Damrod and Gothmog. It also includes a full rulebook with updated rules from the FAQs plus all the accessories you need to start playing the games right away. For those that don't know, Keith and I have been creating terrain for my ever-growing army of Warhammer for over 20 years and this workshop has been my hobby home for the last 5 years. We're in the process of moving so this might be the last video I actually film here. I will be making a future video on what to keep, sell or give away from all the terrain that you can see. Before we go any further though, I do want to mention and make a massive shout out to hitting 1000 subs on this channel. I've been making these YouTube videos for the last 8 months and it's an absolute pleasure to see the community building. If you're watching this for the first time, I'd love to know what videos you'd like to see in the future, so drop a comment below. This new set is essentially replacing the old Battle of Pelennor Fields box set which was released back in 2018. The new box contains everything you need to get started including dice and terrain. Before we really dive into the box and look at the minis I think it's worth taking a moment to talk about the rulebook. Although this is a new starter set this is not a new edition of the game. This is essentially an updated version which includes any and all FAQs that have been released the last few years. Normally for Games Workshop a new starter set for Age of Sigmar or 40k would include a new rule set, but not this time and it's quite an interesting move. For us hobbyists and players alike it means that essentially the existing rule books along with the relevant FAQs are completely up to date. So if you don't want to pick up the new box or the new rules happily down the line then you don't have to. I'm not going to jump into the rules in this video and if I'm completely honest I'm not a massive gamer when it comes to playing through the scenarios and competing in tournaments. When I've played I've really enjoyed it but for me the exciting part is the minis and the terrain. Now I know the Warriors of Gondor, the Rangers and the Orcs have been around for a very long time and whilst I don't think the sculpts are bad, compare them with the newest releases and you can really see a huge contrast. 
It would be nice to have new warriors for SBG, however I can completely understand that Middle Earth is not the most popular system. So investing in remaking existing models probably isn't on the cards just yet. But who knows what could happen in the future. The brand new hero sculpts in this box are absolutely gorgeous. These were the first thing that I went rummaging for in the box once I picked it up. The Faramir, Madril and Damrod all have brand new models and have for the first time been made in plastic rather than either metal or resin. And the newer plastic models that Games Workshop are producing are just off the scale. The dynamic poses with terrain bases is just an absolute joy to build and I can't wait to put some paint on them. Not to mention the new goth mog is just an absolute unit and is far more imposing than his old metal and resin counterpart. I did actually do a little conversion of that goth mog and put him onto the wild war chieftain which you'll see here. And whilst there are a lot of small parts needed to glue together, the finished models are just absolutely perfect. Now as you know, terrain is kind of my thing, so the plastic ruins completely switched me on. I know Zorbzorb, 3D Games, Benji's Hobbies and many more have already done videos on these, but it has to be one of the most versatile kits for Middle Earth. We've seen Lake Town, we've seen Rohan Houses and now we've got Oz Goliath. Wow, it's just the gift that keeps on giving. The terrain master Ray Dronfield has absolutely outdone himself on this one and I wish I had more time to finish everything for this video. So I'm just going to show you how far I've got so far. I'm pretty much out of time but I've managed to get two buildings down and the heroes all glued ready for paint. So let's put them together into the board and see how it looks. This diorama is one I actually started last year and I've never got around to finishing it. My vision was to have resin water effects lapping up against the ruins and to create a real city fight scene straight from the films as the orcs break into the city. However, the more I look at this, I keep changing my mind. If I had all the time in the world and space, I'm really running out of that at the moment, I'd create two 4x2 boards with a sheet of insulation foam on and build the city from the ground up, creating an immersive experience for games. This is something I still might do, provided I can convince my other half. <laughs> for now guys, the best is yet to come. We have a Gondor mansion and a watchtower still to unbox and plan into this city board diorama. So why do I think this is the best starter kit Games Workshop have ever made? Well, if you're new to Middle Earth and want to try it, then this is really the box for you. It has everything you need to start playing, including two decent starter forces that would be easy to flesh out into decent match play forces if you wanted to go down that route. If you're an existing veteran of the game, it's probably not the most exciting, but the target is in the title, Starter Kit. This is ideally aimed at people new to the hobby and those who used to love it and encouraging them back into the game. The new heroes and ruins are absolutely fantastic and to me are the real standout in this box. They are being released separately, as some of you may already know, so you don't need to buy the new box if you just want to get the heroes, for example. Most starter boxes that I've had in the past, including the Battle of Pemelon Fields, didn't include any terrain. Now, I may be biased, but even without any terrain, you can't get the full experience of the game. So this starter set ticks all the right boxes for starting your journey into the Warhammer universe. Have you got the box already? Let me know in the comments what you think and smash the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.